Hey there, it's Rachel from All About The House. If you follow my blog, then you'll know that this year I'm experimenting with a ton of different types of planning systems, including digital and printed, whether using a spiral bound planner or printables, different weekly layouts, etc. Um, because I'm in the search to find a perfect planner for me because it's taken me like four years and I've been using all bunch of different planners and none of them seem to work. So this year I'm determined to find my planning style and which one works best. So this week I decided to use Microsoft Word to plan my week. So I know this is not usually like a conventional planning system, but if you're someone that's always on your computer and you're not really interested in a paper planner or your plans change often, then a digital planning system might be for you. Now I have tried using Trello before and things like Asana, but I just hated that there was like tabs and all different stuff happening everywhere, whereas in Microsoft Word everything is just on like the one page and that's it. You don't have to click anywhere, it's all just right there in front of you. So how I used it to plan my week was basically type out the days. So I had obviously Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, etc. I won't write them all out because it'll take too long. And then what I did was put them in bold so I could distinguish between the day and then all of the things underneath. And then all I did was do some dot points. So I had, okay, these are the tasks that I think I'm going to do today. So if I need to um, pay the phone bill, then I would literally just write that down. Um, and put all my dot points down. So at the start of the week, I had all of my dot points listed out, and then I just allocated them to each day. So the great thing about using uh, Microsoft Word is because it's easy to change when your plans change. So if, say, I had um, a doctor's appointment on the Tuesday, and I had to cancel it because something came up, um, then I can just reschedule it. And to do that, it's really easy. I just left click and drag to highlight that text, and then I can just move it up um, to the day that it needs to go to and then just move it there and I don't have to rub anything out um, if I'm using pencil like I normally would in a paper planner I don't have to scribble anything out or use whiteout or anything like that um, if you do use the paper paper planning system then you could try the friction pens and that might make your paper planning system better they're erasable pens I highly recommend them and they're my favorite um, planner pens so if you do still want to stick with your paper planner um, you might want to try those so in Word, I can list out all in dot points everything that needs to get done. I prefer to use um, dot points rather than typing in sentences because I find that just gets way too confusing, everything just messy, whereas dot points, it's really easy to see what needs to be done. So once I've listed out all my dot points for the week, I then allocate them to a day and then I number them. So if you highlight your text, you can then come up here to... Um, this menu, I'm just in the home menu, and you can change it to numbers. So if I decide that priority one is to go to the doctors, then I can just drag that up and rearrange it that way. So there's no rubbing out, there's no like reallocating things, it doesn't get messy, it's a really quick change, um, and it's easy to do. So if you had a whole um, lot of tasks, let's say you needed to walk the dog, go to the gym, and like cook dinner, so um, you might want to do like you've got a work meeting at 6 a.m., it's a bit early, at um, 9 a.m. So you can put down everything you need to get done and then once you've bulleted, bullet list out like that, you can then number it and then the next step that I did was color code it. So I'm absolutely obsessed with color coding. I color code pretty much everything, um, not just my planner, like my personal life too, storage bins, um, even like Tupperware containers, just literally everything. So you can color code two ways in Word. You can either use the highlighter tool or change the text color. So what I recommend you do is pick your categories. So think about what you normally um, keep track of. So you might have work in one color, personal in another color. Um, if you're in school, you might have different colors for each subject. You might have a different color for things that are urgent. They might be in red. Anyway, so once you've um, chosen your colors, you might want to put them down on a piece of paper or maybe like a sticky note and have it with you for reference until you get like familiar with your colors. Be very careful when choosing your colors because you want to choose ones that um, are typically available in stationary supplies. If you're using a pen and paper system, then that can be a bit limiting. But the great thing about using digital is that you can pick any color that you want. So there's these colors in Microsoft Word that they have by default, or you can go to more colors and you can pick any color from the color wheel, or you can play around with the color picker tool until you pick a color that you like. While that's nice and all, and you can get lots of pretty colors and custom colors, etc., I recommend that you just pick one from the color wheel or one from this drop down menu here because then it makes it quicker um, when you're color coding. So if you wanted to make like a unique pink, you'd have to go to more colors, find that pink and then hit OK and it would come up here in the recently used colors. But if you keep using this system week after week, you're going to have to keep going 
every week and do that same step because it will only show up in recent obviously when you've last used it so if you're just opening it up this won't appear you'll only have these colors here so you may want to choose um, just from the colors that Microsoft Word has so if work meeting let's say work was in green you could use light green but that's not very easy to see so I recommend going with dark green um, dinner is like personal so you could go purple for that um, health might be a different color so everything to do with like being active or eating anything like that you could go in like orange and then something that's urgent you could go in red and then like an appointment or other random miscellaneous stuff you might go in blue so some of the ways that you can then um, color code it and when you've got your whole week listed out here it makes it really easy to see what needs to get done the other way that you can highlight is to leave everything in black and use the highlighter tool. So if we had that work meeting was in green, you'd come down here and choose green. Um, and that's another way you, that you can color code if you don't like how um, colored font looks. It does take a bit longer to use the highlighter tool to color code because once you like, you have to highlight it and then you have to uncolor and go no color and it does take um, longer than if you're just using the text tool with the recent colors. So when you've got it all listed out, it's really easy to see what needs to get done. When you've done a task, you can either cross it out so then you like feel like you've accomplished, accomplished something or you can simply just delete it and then at the end of the week, you'll literally have just a blank Word document um, or if you've still got tasks outstanding, so if you didn't end up going to the doctors, you might still have that task there, then you can simply just start your week again and those tasks will already be there. You don't have to retype them out. You don't have to retype them out. You don't have to rewrite them out like you would with a paper planner. You can just simply um, reallocate them to a day or you can see the tasks keep coming up each week that you still haven't done them. So if it's been a couple of weeks, you might say, okay, is this task really important? Do I actually need to do it or can I just delete it or not do it or postpone it until later. So then you can figure out what you're not getting done um, and then you could also see which days you're most busiest so you can help that with scheduling etc. So that's how I used Microsoft Word to plan my week this week. The other thing that you could do is obviously change the font. Um, I'm sure everyone knows how to use Word. You can just pick a pretty font. Um, I recommend just choosing a nice simple easy to read font. Uh, you could also color code your days so you could go Monday. Everything to do with that is in um, green, you could go Tuesday in blue, etc. So you could color code it that way. If you um, were using this to plan um, like a month, so you could have a monthly list on one page, then you could have your weekly. If you started having quite a few pages within your Word doc, one of the things that I like to do is use these heading styles. So if I made Monday in a heading one, and then if you press Control F on your keyboard, it'll come up with this navigation menu here, and then it'll come up with all your headings. So if you had like Tuesday, and you can just quickly jump to what needs to be done that day. So if you're someone that has a lot going on, or you're um, keeping track of everyone in your family's schedule, so if you've got the kids' um, plans in here as well, your husband's, etc., um, the whole families, then you could jump between the days that way. You could also have a separate page um, for each person in your family. So you might have... Um, like mum, dad, kids, etc., and then just one page for everything relating to that, and you can just quickly jump to what's happening um, with who on what day, etc. So I hope that that gave you some ideas on how to use Microsoft Word. If you are not into a pen and paper system and you don't want to have to use the internet, because if you use something like Asana and Trello, you need the internet to use that. They can be a bit complicated with like different tabs everywhere and different things to keep track of, whereas, whereas with Microsoft Word, it's all just right there in front of you ready to go so you could do your monthly planning, you could do to-do lists, weekly planning, um, etc. So that is hopefully giving you a couple of ideas um, on how to use Microsoft Word to plan your week.